Hey Overdurs, uh, I'm Orion. Uh, this is a stalls tutorial, it's an intermediate tutorial. Um, I'll have it broken up into the description with different timestamps to go ahead and skip to different um, parts of the tutorial. Um, I'll be covering all the stalls that I know, uh, body, arm, mouth, in air, and miscellaneous ones. Um, the miscellaneous stalls do get a lot more advanced um, and will require a lot more time to uh, do, or, or do cleanly. Um, yeah, I'll start off with uh, body stalls. Um, remember, you, if I'm going too fast, you can uh, go to the YouTube settings and slow down. Um, you can see it in slow-mo. Um, but yeah, I'll try and go slow. So, first one, body stalls. Um, essentially just timing the orbit really well because orbit changes direction um, and right when it does it slows down a lot and I do that um, I put it on my body right when it's about to change direction when it slows down so it stops cleanly um, body stalls can be done anywhere really actually yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter where you do it um, yeah uh, arm stalls. Arm stalls um, kind of require you to play with short string. The way I do them is, again, I wait for it to time uh, when it's about to change direction and it slows down and I bring uh, my hand to my forearm and stall it this way. Looks like it stall it here. Yeah, it's, it's the same way as stalling it on the body. Um, yeah, mouth stalls. Be careful with this because you may bust a lip. Um, again, with a stall, you gotta wait for it to uh, change direction and slow down, and you wanna just bite it like that. I recommend you, you know, the beginners don't try this one until you get like really comfortable with um, how your orbit breathes and its timing. That way, you don't whack yourself um, but yeah from a mouth stall some creative stuff you can uh, that was a cradle that would be in a different tutorial um, yeah from mouth stalls you really can only do this and then spit it out at your viewer or go to a cradle I guess you could go to a arm stall bring it down to your body whatever um, in air stalls these are a bit different from the rest of the stalls. They require you to really just stop spinning and pull the opposite direction um, to really get it down. So from a basic spin, that would be a mid-air stall. And it's really effective if you, you know, do it right in front of your viewer's face. Um, to do this, you gotta you know, spin it, spin it. You gotta let your body kind of sway with it so the, the orbit drags out and stalls midair. Um, there's a couple other ways to do it, but they're kind of more poi concepts. Uh, they may be covered in one of Torque's poi tutorials, where, say, you do that and you follow the orbit down. He'll be a lot more specific with it, but you follow the orbit down and it'll stall. Um, you can do it upwards, although it kind of comes back down easily. You can do it either way, like this, and it follows the same idea of you got to follow your orbit so that it stops in midair. Um, the last one you can do it, it's the same way as the first one. Should we stall that way. All right, now miscellaneous stalls. Um, I don't know a lot of other orbiters that do these. Um, these may actually not be called, no, they're stalls. Um, some of the ones that I do, they're really effective at bugging out your viewer. Um, I build off of that one uh, that I just did, where I go like this, and I bring my hand up and follow it and catch it. Um, a lot of these miscellaneous stalls, I use my other hand and uh, drag my hand up the string to stop the orbit and like keep it perfectly still. Um, so yeah, again, 
when it swings towards the person, you bring your hand up following the string to catch it. Um, this can be, I guess, done anyway. You know. Uh, let's just move it down. Um, a couple other ways to do it is when you're doing like a wide spin. Again, follow it with uh, the string, with the opposite string. You know, you can do it with this hand too. And uh, you know, either hand works to just guide it up the string, install it. Um, another very good one. Um, this one kind of requires you to go and only use one hand. And I got my other hand on the string. I lock my fingers in, I keep it spinning, and I drag my hand up so that it catches, you know, it winds up and catches. And it's supposed to catch right in front of the viewer's face, sort of like I just did. Um, yeah, that one's very good. Just be careful not to hit your viewer's face. The last one I can think of is kind of a very odd stall. Um, to learn this, you're going to need to know arm wraps. Uh, probably be very good with arm wraps. This is called uh, a koala grab, actually. It's a Hawaiian move. Um, but what you got to do is, so you're doing your arm wraps, and you can do it from either direction. But what you have to do is you, you bounce it off, you let it wrap around your hand, the palm of your hand, and then you pull with the other hand so it comes up like a grab. Oh shit, my bad. There we go. Um, yeah, you just gotta time it well. Um, if you wanna see that uh, closer, try and see, uh, change the YouTube settings to slow motion because that's gonna be a bitch to see, or a bitch for me to slow down. Um, that's good. another good stall for really just slamming it in somebody's face. Um, like I said, it can be done from either direction to grab. Um, that one's, again, sort of like a stall. It, it doesn't kind of jive with all the others. Uh, yeah, happy orbiting. Don't forget to subscribe.